We were massive New Kids on the Block fans when we were seven, yeah. seven or eight years old. So I, those are the first things I remember owning when it comes to music. New Kids on the Block for sure. And also when my mom started dating who eventually became our stepdad, Bruce, he used to make us mixtapes when we were kids. Like he used to make us mixtapes of music he liked that we used to listen to in our rooms. <laughs> Just adorable when I think about it. The first CD that I remember buying from a record store was um, a compilation from um, from Kill Rock Stars. I can't remember because my brain is old and no, no longer elastic. My <laughs> first concert was Bruce Springsteen when we were 11. That's not true. Our first concert was New Kids on the Block when we were 8 years old. No? Remember the part about my brain and how it's not elastic <laughs> Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi is my go-to karaoke. You gotta, we always say when it comes to karaoke, you gotta pick music that's not just recognizable, but has a bridge you can sing. People pick these really great songs, but then it, the bridge comes along, it's like instrumental, you lose your crowd. Yeah, Bon Jovi. Great bridges. I do not really remember exactly what was playing the first time that I had a sexual experience, but I know for sure it was either Bob Marley or Cypress Hill, and I'm not making that up, I know that is very true. Never gonna unforget that. Our first band was called Plunk, which was sort of like a play on punk because we didn't have a drummer or a bass player, so we, we, we thought of ourselves as light punk, so Plunk. We were so obsessed with Jared Leto. And I know technically that doesn't count as a musical crush because the era when we became in love with him, he was on My Soul Called Life, but he did- He performed as a musician. Play a musician on the show. And then yeah. of course, obviously, became a very, very, very successful musician in his own right, so, uh, so the crush is still alive. Maybe white wine. <laughs> like if someone said you could only have one thing on your rider tonight, I would probably pick white wine. Red Bull. Yes, our first band t-shirt, I remember it very clearly because our band at the time was called Sarah and Tegan, not Tegan and Sarah, and it's humiliating to even describe it. It said Sarah and Tegan, but next to my name was a sun, and next to Tegan's name was a moon. <laughs> it's brutal. I haven't been able to get that Justin Bieber song, but like, my mama don't like you and she likes everyone. In my head has been like for days. Can't get it out. Nice. I don't sing in the shower. I can hear my neighbors through my showers. So I'm pretty sure they can hear me. Sad. <laughs>